Is there weren't any orange today? Yeah, I thought about the orange man, but mm, I'm good. All right, no Beto? <laughs> All right, no, we can we can manage. Let's go. It was uh, pretty good. Uh, I thought you know uh, we talked about what I need to improve on, and I'm not going to tell you guys that. Put fuel on your fire, so I'm going to leave that out there. And um, uh, it was a great meeting. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited for next season. I'm excited for this off season to get ready and get prepared. And that's about it. Uh, you know, uh, that I belong. Uh, I think sometimes it's tough for players and um, uh, coaches to deal with players that, you know, they don't know where they fit in this league. And I thought I, I showed that I belong and I can fit in this system. And I thought I did pretty good on that. How were you to discover that you belong? Uh, just working out, you know working on my game offensively and um, throughout the off season I felt more and more confident and um, I improved on all my skills and I feel like I can do that for next season and get better at it. You say you weren't going to share your secrets? Because if I, if I tell a Syracuse guy all my secrets then you guys are going to just go into a zone. You know, and not do anything. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you any of my secrets of what I'm gonna do this off season for the fact that you don't need that. You, know, you don't need to know my secrets. This is why I'm gonna get better. So um, I'm excited for this off season. You know, uh, it was obviously the season is not how we wanted it to be, but um, uh, this is gonna be a great off season for me to get better. And you know. Um, who knows who's going to come back or what's going to happen, but uh, I'm very fortunate to be in this situation, and I'm, I'm happy to be a Laker. Do you see yourself playing the summer league? I, I, it hasn't been brought up, so I don't know yet. and I haven't even thought that far. You know, I've, I just thought about just landing last night, to be honest with you. Antonio's always reiterated to us what a phenomenal defender you are. Do you think that you are one of – the best or better defenders in the NBA? I think I can, I, I am, but I think I can also improve. Um, there's definitely improvement in that aspect, and uh, I know that that's one of my goals is to be a top defender in this league and um, basically have that as my, my go-to. That's, that's one of the things you're going to work on. Um, you know, that's a, that's a part of it. It's a part of it. You guys are so... You guys are unbelievable, you know? You guys just want any, anything, anything. So I'm not going to give you anything. Well, it's not the same. And just tell him, tell him, to, enjoy, tell him to enjoy San Antonio. That's all I need to say. Steven, that's his real name. Um, Steven is uh, the man. Like, he's been a great influence on me throughout my whole life, my career, you know, for the fact that we came from the same area. And um, he, if he can't play due to his, some, his body, he'll be around and just if you can take whatever's in his mind and use it towards your game. Why not, right? He's a two-time MVP, and he knows he knows the game in and out. So I'm definitely going to always keep picking his brain. And I enjoy I He's one of the greatest teammates I've ever had. And um, he's just such a great team guy that uh, he, he's irreplaceable. In the same, in the same mindset, you played the last two years with Pau. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty with him coming back. What have you learned from Pau over the last two years? Well, the biggest thing I'm going to miss about Pau is, you know, we're, we're damn near neighbors, so him coming over for dinner. Uh, it's pretty much, um, I'm going to miss Powell a lot, you know, if he doesn't come back. And um, I, I enjoyed that guy. He's probably another great teammate that you can't, you can't replace. You know, the, what he brings is 
a uh, great positive attitude and um, he, he's just a, a great loving guy so uh, I'm I was really fortunate to play with him and I hope to I hope I'm able to play with him again I I see myself being a a really good player, you know, uh, offensive and defensively. I think I'm I want to be a top top player in this league. I, obviously, I need to improve on some stuff, but it's it's realistic in my eyes, and I can be. Was this year obviously you don't want injuries, but it, you've had the opportunity to play a lot of minutes, maybe more than someone coming in as a 60 pick in the draft would be able to. How how important was it? I thought it was important and um, you know coach and I talked and I I don't think it was given to me I think I earned it I think um, everything that I got from minutes wise was all me working hard towards getting those minutes and um, it was it really helpful for my development and I'm glad I got them and I'm glad I earned it and now I need to earn more minutes so And the beautiful Northwest, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, of course, we'll hang out in the 509. Summertime in the 509. You guys can join. We'll make a backstage Lakers. Yeah, we'll bring backstage Lakers. Me, Roni, Adam Morrison, Meta. Come on, guys. Come with, and you guys want to come to the Spokane, be more than welcome. We'll hang out with John Stock. We'll have, we'll have a good time. Yeah, for sure. Just let me know anytime. Yeah, when, yeah. I just put it, put it, put my number right now on every. Let everybody can call me. Yeah, yeah. Be careful because we'll hold you to that. Do you have any type of special relationship with Chris Kamen? The post game interviews last night. I remember you called him a legend, which is a, a pretty. Yeah, he's a, Chris Kamen is Chris Kamen. Like, there's no word to describe what Chris Kamen is. Um, <laughs> He's le he is legendary. You like Ron Burgundy. Chris Kamen is his own breed. Uh, uh, again, I'm, I, I love Chris. And um, he's, he's a unique individual. And he brought a lot of character to this team. And it was, it was fun. It was definitely fun for me. Uh, we went to a lot of dinners on the road and um, went to go see a couple of movies on the road. and. It wasn't a date though, so I don't get that. <laughs> but um, I was clearly confused about you know, it's a, you know, I just wanted to cl clarify that. But um, Chris Kamen, that's all I need to say. He's a unique, great, legendary individual. What did you guys learn about yourselves getting through the challenges of this season? Um, you know. We had to deal with a lot of adversity, and um, you know it showed a lot of character within the team, and showed people's true characters. And I, it was it was good to see that people you know stuck in and really bought into the system. And even though it was a not the season we wanted, but uh, it, it showed a lot of character how guys you know really toughed it out. I know what was that all about. Did you see that? I know I did. It was kind of you know. I apologize. That was that was my fault. Um, I I took that on as a you know. I should have been MVP this year with that. But guys, I I'll give it to Bays more for now. You know, <laughs> uh, he he deserved that award and. Uh, uh, you know, minutes will do that to you. You can't jump off the bench as fast. You know, so it was tough. Is that on that list? Yeah, you know, um, definitely Phil Handy left, you know, and we worked on a lot of, you know, uh, celebrations, and I can't do that now. We, our, Mark Madsen can't do that. <laughs> yeah, and Mark Madsen can't teach me celebrations. We've seen his dance, you know. Oh, let's not give Mark too much credit. Cool. You guys done? Picking my brain? Um, let me think. 
Uh, I know I'm going to go watch when my, my son. I have to pick up my son, so I got to go watch Choo Choo Train. I got to go watch Mickey Mouse. And I got to go watch Disney for the next five days. So I appreciate everybody. Thank you very much. John Black, it's all you. <laughs>